Welcome back. Mananan has left the premises, which is good for us because it means that we can look around undisturbed and without the threat of being punished or killed. It means that now we can check out uh, that book or get those ingredients that we would otherwise be punished for. However, there is a danger. Mananan will be back. Uh, if you look at the timer, you'll see it's shortly after five minutes, and um, actually, that is when he leaves. He leaves after five minutes, approximately, and he will come back 25 minutes later, so when the timer reaches 30. Of course, you will need to play the game uh, before you start to realize that that is his schedule. And after he comes back, he will leave or go to sleep again after another five minutes, and then uh, come back after another 25 minutes. And I think he'll go away or go to sleep or whatever a maximum of three times before you lose the game. So that's the amount of time you have to do everything you need to do. Um, well, now that he's gone, we can go back up the tower to get those fly wings. Because, well, they are an object that is takeable, therefore we will need it. You pick up the dead fly and drop it into your hand. Disgustedly, you look at it. I don't want to carry around a dead fly, you think. Picking off its wings, you throw the rest away. If we look at the inventory now, we see that the fly wings have a star. Like I said earlier, everything with a star is dangerous. If the wizard catches you carrying anything that is marked with a star in your inventory, he will kill you. So, before he comes back, we'll, we'll have to find a place to hide that stuff. But we'll deal with that problem when we get there. You can also actually look for the telescope. Um, which is sort of nice to do. Even though it doesn't show you anything. You put your eye to the glass. It amazes you how near everything seems. You can even see squirrels climbing far away trees. No wonder the wizard knows all activities in Ludor. I guess so. Must be a magical telescope if it's that good. And the cat is in the way again. Um, you can't actually get by him now, so you can either wait until he moves by himself, or kick him. Kicking him is more fun. Again, usually I'm a cat lover, just not this particular cat. Let's check out the wizard's bedroom, which we can do now. I don't know who decorated this place, but why did they use so much pink? What uh, do we have? We have a window. You can see most of the countryside of Ludor from this vantage point. You look at Mananan's elegant bedchamber. You see fine furnishings from a regal bed to a beautifully carved closet. You can't help but compare this handsome room to your own meager cubicle. I think we already saw that. Um, and there is a chamber pot here. Bananan's chamber pot is on the floor beside his bed. Like I said, that is another chore uh, you might get ordered to do, emptying the chamber pot. How about the bed itself? Heavy velvet curtains drape the regal mahogany bed. Mahogany. Is there anything in the bed? Is it lost? No. <laughs> um, look under pillow. Drop into your hands and knees. You peer under the bed. There is absolutely nothing there. I wanted to look under the pillow, but, well, close enough, I guess. And he has a mirror, one which actually works. Imperfections in the glass make your reflection wavy. Nevertheless, your rags show up all too clearly. But, though in rags, your face is handsome and your body strong. Um, looks like this dresser has a drawer in it. Let's see if there's anything in there. In the vanity drawer, there are many uninteresting items, although the wizard's hand mirror may come in handy. You grab it, then close the drawer. And now we have a mirror, which is also uh, 
marked with a star, even though I don't think it's actually used for any of the spells. But I guess it's since it's a personal item belonging to the wizard, he still wouldn't want you have it I, to have it. The mirror is set in a round oak frame with a long handle. You peer into it and see a rather dirty but handsome face. Yes, Gwydion's handsome. We get it. Okay, and there is a large closet here. The closet is carved of ornately carved mahogany. I guess he likes mahogany. Anything in the closet? You see voluminous, voluminous velvet robes, satin slippers, peaked hats and soft linen gowns. I'll stick to my rags, thank you. Anything more interesting in there? You're startled to discover an ancient parchment scroll. Its ink has faded, but it seems to be a map. Taking this treasure, you leave everything else exactly as it was. A map? Let's take a look at that map. The magic map's ink has faded away. So far, it isn't much help. Press F6 to teleport. Press F8 to put the map away. Apparently we can use this map to teleport, which I'm betting will be very useful. However, it's rather blank at the moment. So, right now, it's not useful. And no, you can't use the mouse for this. I think it will just, yeah, do the same thing you it would do. If you try to use the mouse during regular gameplay, which is move over there. Um... Let's try pressing F6, see what happens. The map looks blank there. So we cannot teleport while the map is still blank. Well, I wonder what we will need to do to fill it. And so it shall be. Which it also says when you press F8. Um, there's another cupboard here with drawers in it, so let's open the drawer. You find baubles and trinkets which do not interest you. Suddenly your eye falls on something that does, a vial labeled Rose Petal Essence, which you eagerly take. It's another spell ingredient, and I thought I was standing in the way of the drawer. Okay, well it is actually possible to get a message saying that you need to back up. There we go. You bang the drawer against your shins repeatedly. Try backing up. If you stand in front of it, but apparently this qualifies as standing to the side. I suppose. A little vial of rose petal essence has a delicate, sweet aroma. I guess it would. I can make perfume from it. And again, because it's a spell ingredient, it is not something you're allowed to have with you when the wizard comes back. Now you might think that's it, but rather deviously, there is something else here. You need to look at the top of the closet. You're on a ha you run a hand along the top of the closet. Suddenly you touch something metallic. Grabbing it, you discover it is, you discover a small brass key. What could it unlock? Maybe a magic door in the land of Kalima. No wait, those were gold keys. The small brass key is brightly polished. Anything under the carpet? You tug at the rug for quite a while, before realizing you're standing on it. Oh. You lift up the rug in several places and look under it. Sad to say, all you see is the dust you swept under there yesterday. Oh. I see that, uh, despite being a slave and his master has the capability and the will to kill him, if he jerks off his chores, he still does a half ass job of everything. Does Manan have a picture of himself on the wall? It's not a photo. Uh, painting, I guess. I don't know. I guess so. Maybe it's his father. Manan is very private with his study. I don't think we... I think we've already seen that. Um... But there's some stuff in here that we haven't checked out, like that uh, chart on the back. The chart has no meaning to you. Oh. How about the desk? A massive desk is made from oak. The wizard does all of his reading, writing, and calculating here. 
But there's nothing on the desk, apparently. Uh, some papers. Uh, is it parchment? No. Okay, I guess we can't look at that. There's a small cabinet standing on the side here, which may be of interest. The oak cabinet has a brass hand handle on its door. Your feather duster is lying on its top. Again, that's a chore that you uh, may need to do at some time by uh, dust uh, dusting the stuff here. But we don't need to do it right now. Let's see if there's anything uh, in the cabinet. You unlock the oaken cabinet using the brass key. Oh, it does that automatically. How nice of it. How nice of uh, the game, I guess. Inside, you find the wizard's magic wand. You take it with you, knowing that it could mean death if he finds it missing. We won't actually need it at this point, but still. After closing the door, you carefully relock it. We found the wizard's magic wand, and you definitely don't want to have this with you. And hiding it anywhere else is also not going to help you. He will know if it's not in its proper place, so you have to replace it. And since we don't need it right now, I'm just going to replace it right uh, at this moment. You unlock the oaken cabinet using the brass key. You carefully replace the magic wand, exactly as you found it. After closing the door, you carefully relock it. This I don't think we need the uh, magic wand. Sorry, just one second. Let me check my notes. Oh, sorry, we do need the magic wand. <laughs> Wasting a bit of time here, which is not nice in them. I forgot there's one spell we can actually already do. Um, well, there was something uh, behind this book, which the wizard killed us for last time, but since he's not around at the moment, we can take a look. You push the large book aside, revealing a metal lever attached to the back of the bookshelf. What would that do? A trap door opens, revealing steep stone steps leading into darkness. That looks interesting but we'll have to figure out where that leads in the next video.